All right, how's it going out there? This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. If you look behind me, I don't know if you can see that right there. Yeah, that's it, right there. Okay, that's a 1953 Corvette. But it's not just a Corvette, it's a kit car Corvette. And what we're doing is we are actually showing you, the viewer, how to fix rock chips slash paint chips. Okay, it's a very easy procedure. And on a car like this, okay, it's, you know, it's real pain in the ass when you get a rock chip. But let my friend Pete guide you through the situation, show you how to do it, and do it right on fixing a rock chip or a paint chip or maybe some kind of chip that you got that you want to fix. And we're not talking these TV commercials where you take something and rub it on there and it goes away. No, that ain't how it works. <laughs> Did you get my fifth, my 2000? Right here. Did you sir. get my white ball? Right there, sir. Did you get my bucket of water? Right there, sir. Okay, that's looking good, bud. I like that. Except a sponge. We don't need a sponge. You Maybe you ought to stand over here and watch, okay, Luch? Because it's watch, listen, and learn time, right. okay? Watch, watch, listen, and learn. That's right. Okay, so instead of acting stupid, you're on the break right now. Stupid, listen dude. to me, Square, okay? You're supposed to be working on a 34 Ford kit car, am I right? You're right. Okay. But you're telling me you're tired today. That you don't want to work. So if I was you, I'd sit there and act like you really actually learned something before I send you back over on the 34 Ford. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, what we've done already, we went ahead and uh, proceeded with the procedure and we're starting where I actually touched it up with paint. If you look right there, you can see where I touched it up with paint. Now I've already filled that in twice with paint and I've let it dry and cured. Now the type of paint we're using is why are you opening the paint, sir? Well, I'm I having, didn't say to open paint. I'm I getting it to, ready for don't you. Don't open the paint. All right. Okay. This is factory paint that the owner had brought to me. This is the color that is on this car. This is a base coat, clear coat type paint. This is not a single stage uh, urethane. So what I've done is I've taken the paint and I've already touched up the spot, trying to keep the paint inside, okay, inside the rock chip itself. And what we're trying to do, we're trying to build the paint up, but we don't want to build it up. Well, what we're trying to do is match the paint. And if you can see right there, it still looks a little bit dark, but we're not done there, Lucci. All right. Okay, we're not done there, bud. Okay, now that I've filled it in twice with my touch-up brush and my paint, now it's time to level the paint out, okay? Because this is a procedure that's very precise, and I don't think Lucci, lucky guy Lucci, that just touched it with his dirty hands can do that. No, I was wiping That's bare right. base coat, bud. You don't touch that. Okay. That doesn't have clear coat on it, okay? Wow, dude. Okay, what we got right here, we got us a bucket of water and we got some 2,000 grit sandpaper. Do you see that, Lucci? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to fold my sandpaper in threes, okay, just like this. I'm not going to go ahead and sand that by hand, though. Hold I'm... on, dude. Hold on. I was hitting the... the... Don't use that. All right, but let me, let me get you right. Zoom it back out. All right. There. What's the problem? No, not, no problem. <laughs> what we got is we got us... A foam pad, okay, foam pad blocks in. Now you got me pissed off and I don't know what I'm talking about here. Okay? Try to do a good camera job on this. We're trying to teach people out there about DIYing. All right. And when you come to DIYing, okay, you're supposed to watch, listen, and learn. Okay, what I'm gonna do, now that I filled my crack in, my chip, okay, I filled it in twice. I'm gonna take my uh, sander, my block sander with my 2000, I'm up here. You're not doing a good camera guy. You're not doing it, dude. I'm trying, dude. Actually, I need to be over there where you're at. Why? You need to be right there because the light's coming in there. We don't want to... Okay, fine. Get over here and do it. Okay, get over here. Okay. There we go. Am I darkened out now because no, of the light? No, you need plenty of light. Okay. What we got here, we got a rock chip. Or whatever it is. It could be a chip from... Maybe Lucci did it and didn't tell me about it. I don't know. 
But what we're going to do is we're going to take our 2000 and we're going to lightly sand that down. Now watch real close how that paint will disappear and blend in there. Okay. As I'm sanding, you can see that we're sanding it. Okay, on the block here. But what I'm doing, I'm barely sanding it. I'm not even, I'm letting the weight of the sandpaper sand the chip away. See? Do you see how that's filling that in? Okay. We're not really sanding the paint. We're concentrating on the chipped area only and we're blending it out. Okay? Do you see what I'm doing here, Luch? Yeah. So what that's doing, that's getting rid of all of the what? All of the high stuff. All the high edges, that's right. Okay? You're not going to flat. And it's also feathering it out. That's all right? correct. Now, I want to let everybody know out there, the, the paint that I'm using on this is the paint that the owner has given me. And I see that it's not really matching good. If you look right there, you can see that. Okay? You can see the difference in color. So we might have to go ahead and mix our own paint up. But right now, I'm more concerned about leveling it out and making it where it's flush mounted. It's kind of like filling it in with Bondo, but we're using the paint to fill it in with. All right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you see there? I'm not using a lot of water. I'm not using a lot of pressure. I'm just letting my sandpaper do the work. Okay. Now, what we've done is we filled that big chip in, but we got to come back and we got to fill it in again. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take my paint. Okay. I'm going to take my white paint, which this looks like the right color, Luch. It looks like the right color, but that doesn't match right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and touch it up one more time with some paint. And I'm just going to get the paintbrush just wet enough just to tab it on there. And you can see that this crack went all the way around here, see? So we're going to go ahead and dab it on there nice and lightly. And I'm just staying in the line okay where the chip was I'm not going out of the line do you see what I'm doing here Luch? yep okay You're staying inside the line now what we'll do we'll let that dry and we'll come back and repeat our process do you okay. understand what I'm saying yes we'll repeat the process and we'll sand it down one more time if the paint doesn't match at that time then I'm gonna have to hand mix some paint all right Man. Because this is a 1953 Corvette, okay? Did you see my hand go this way, Luch? That means look at the car while I'm talking, bud. See, this is a 1953 Corvette, and the owner wants it done right, bud. All right. And that's the only way that I'm going to do it. I'm up here now, and that's the only way that I'm going to do it, is do it right. Do you All see right. what I'm saying? I think that's what Sammy, uh, what's his name? McGee? Cecil McGee. Do it, do it right. That's what I'm talking about. Uh. For what we got here, we got a 1953 Corvette. This is a beautiful car, okay? It's a beautiful car. It's a beautiful replica car. Did you hear me use that word replica? Did you hear that? Okay. Okay, hold on. What, 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 what a replica is, what a replica is, that means that it's a knockoff, okay? It's a phony, it's a fake, it's basically a kit car. But this is a good kit car. This is a very nice kit car. Whoever designed this kit car kit did a very well job doing it. Thank you, sir. I get, I Let's got, hope that that came out all right. I got fired. Okay. So what we got here, we got about a $100,000 kit car here because that's about how much money the owners got in this car building it. About $100,000 building a kit car. Would you build the kit car? Would you build a kit car? Wait. No, because I don't have the money to build the kit car. Even if I had it, I wouldn't. Even if I had it, I wouldn't spend that much. No, I wouldn't. No, no I wouldn't. Okay, if you can pop the hood open, we'll go ahead and show everybody what it's got in it. There's a hood popper right over here. Look, it says hood on there. There it is. Now, if you can open that, we'll show everybody. Okay, now, mind you, this guy's got seventy-five dollars to $100,000 in it. And what we got here is we got a 350 Chevy engine. It doesn't have no air conditioning, no nothing, no fancy chrome. It doesn't have no fancy nothing. I mean, the battery is just sitting here. And, you know, the, it looks like the engine compartment's been painted with flat spray paint cans. Krylon. Lucci style spray paint cans. Okay, even the hood has been sprayed with spray cans. So, did the person that actually built this car, did he do a beautiful job on it? Yes. You think so? Give me the hood, please. He did, yeah. 
I think attention to detail could have been a little bit better than what's on there. Okay. I think you got I think a beautiful orange money, 350. For that type of money, the engine compartment should have been a little bit more detailed. <laughs> for a hundred thousand, you're okay. right. Okay. Okay. For a hundred grand, you're probably right. So what we'll do, we'll let our chip dry. We'll let the paint dry. Now what we've done is we overfilled it. That's the third coat. And then we'll come back. We'll repeat our process. We'll go ahead and color sand it down. And then we'll come back with a coat of clear. Let that dry. Color sand it. And then we will hand polish it. What? Do you got a question? Yes, I do. What? Now once this is knocked down again, if it doesn't match in color, how are you going to fix the color? Then I'm going to have to go ahead and get some white paint that I have and probably mix a little bit of this with a little bit of that to get it mixed right. When you come across a, a, a position like this, when you come across a problem like this, another thing you're looking at, you're looking at where I sanded it. See how bright or white it is and where it's shiny? Yeah. Do you see? That's because we sanded it and it's a dull white. Okay. And usually what happens when you polish that out, it usually blends in. And oh, you can't it goes see it. back. Okay. Is there will, anything else, sir? Will you hand polish this or machine yes, hand polish? hand polish. No machine. No machine. It'll burn the paint off. All right. That's it. Well, you're getting ahead of the fucking game, Lucci. Don't you have something to do? Yep. Then go do it, sir. I'm gonna go set. Work on the 34 coupe. I'm gonna go work yeah. On the We're not painting walls today, Lucci. No walls today, bud. We're working on cars. So once again, we'll let that dry. We'll come back. We'll use our water. We'll use our 2000 with our sponge block, okay, with our uh, soft block. We'll take a white ball to keep the water contained, okay, and uh, it'll cut down the paint. And we want to keep it contained, okay, we want to keep it very contained. And then we'll come back and put a couple coats of clear on it, repeat the process, and this chip should be finished, all right. Turn the camera what did you back. say, Dave? I said it looks good from here. Yeah, it looks good 20 feet away, but we have a problem, Luke. What is it? Uh, touching it up with the brush action ain't going to work. We literally had to go ahead and spray it on. All right. Okay, look what I've done here, dude. Look what I did. You blended it. I taped it off. I had to blend it because this is the factory paint, the paint that came with this card, but it doesn't match when you use a brush, bud. So what we had to do, we used our little touch-up gun here, dude. All right. Man. Okay, our little two-ounce two, two touch-up gun. Okay, this is a SATA Mini Jet. It's okay. a bad little gun, dude. Yeah, it is. It really okay. is. Hey, let but me The problem we have, but looky over here. Let's see. Okay, what I did is I back tape it with foam tape. Do you see what I did there? Look oh, at the foam. Yeah. Now, what the foam tape does is it keeps it from uh, it keeps it from giving it a sharp line, dude. Okay, I don't know who painted this car. I don't know who painted it. But it's got very, very minimal clear on it. So when we were sanding it with 2000, guess what happened? We it burned through the fucking clear, dude. Do you believe that shit? Oh, wow. Well. So now what I got to do, I got to take my mini Seda. You see that right there? The mini Seda gun. I've already painted the paint on there. I blended some paint on it. Now I got to take this. And I'm going to use this at such a fine stream of paint that it's going to look like an airbrush. Okay, airbrush paint. And that's what the mini Seda jet's good for. The HVLP mini Seda two-ounce cup sprayer, dude. Okay, so if you can stand... Hey, you want to get it? Hold on. Oh, if you can stand over here. Why don't here. you... This ain't a joke video, dude. No, but why don't you get it's it... It's right there. Yeah, why don't you get okay. it a little closer? It's right there, bud. <laughs> okay, usually the brush action works. Usually it does. But for some odd reason, brushing this paint on doesn't match. Do you see what I'm saying? So now we have went to the extreme, and I'm going to tell everybody out there, if you don't know what you're doing and you've never done this before, What? Give it to the professional. Get the professional to do it, because I'm going to tell you right now, you can mess your car. Look at this car right here. Look at this quarter panel. There's no cutoff points anywhere. Okay? If I fuck this guy's car up, I'm going to have to paint the whole back end of the car for this one little fucking rock chip, dude. So, don't get me pissed off today, Lucky Lucci guy, Lucci. All right, man. Now, what I'm going to do, I want you to show, I want you to look here. I'm going to spray the paint out here. Okay? If you look at the tip right here, I want to show you how fine we're spraying this. Okay, do you see that? Yeah. I'm spraying it. I only got about 10 or 10 pounds of PSI on this. Okay, if you, I don't even know if you can see that. Can you see yeah. that? Don't look at me, Lucci. Look at the camera.
I'm looking at No, you're not. You're looking at me, sir. All right, but hey, I'm checking Look through out. the camera. Don't worry about that. Sir, you are a camera guy now. You are getting paid to be a camera guy. Let's be the camera guy. All right. Now, look right here, I see okay, it, dude. and you can see that there's very, very minimal paint coming out, and I also got my uh, my pattern all the way down to where it's a uh, round circle, okay? Right. So this is very precise, and you got to be very quick with it. We've already put two coats of paint on that, and what I did, I blended this area right here. Can you see, can you see that? Walk a little closer. There you go. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get the clear out, and then we're just going to... See, very quickly, you can see it's getting shiny on us. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And there's one coat right there. All right. Now, we're going to let that dry. We'll come back and put one more coat. And then, once we get the other coat on, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to blend all that paint together, and I'm going to show you how to do that when we get ready to do that, sir. Okay. Because I hate to tell you, but that paint does not match. I don't think that paint is for this car, bud. But that looks good. It looks good, but I don't think that's the paint for this car. All right. Or that paint is so old that it just doesn't match anymore. Well, guess what? It is now. Okay, well, the only thing I can say is you can only do what you can do with what you got. That's it, bud. Okay, that's all I can tell you. All right. The only other way to fix that fucking thing is you'll have to sand that down, you'll have to prime it, you'll have to paint the bastard, and then come back and clear coat the whole rear end of the fucking car on a particular car like this. Turn around and show everybody. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? See, because it don't have no It doesn't cutout. have a tape on. The only line here is right here, bud. Right. You have to clear coat the whole back end of the car to fix that. What we're trying to do, we're trying to help the guy out, and we're trying to blend the paint in. But what do you think is going to happen, being my friend Pete's luck that my friend Pete has? You have to do it's it probably it. not going to match right for the guy, and I'm going to end up repainting the whole fucking back end of the car. Turn the camera off! See, what the real situation is here, when you're dealing with cars like this, when you're working on cars like this, it becomes a very meticulous type situation that makes your nerves crush to the end of the earth, okay? Crushing your nerves the way that the, a fucking job like this can do will make you go crazy. It makes you go fucking insane. Am I right? Well, I, I can Am I right? Yeah, can I ask a question? Can the DIY auto school what? student ask what? a question? Go ahead, ask a question. What if bud. you put a little bit of that white paint in the clear and shoot? I don't want to do that. Will that help blend no, it I won't. even more? No, because we got to come back and blend, color sand it down. Oh, and I then see. you'll be color sanding paint. And then you'll be fucking it up even more, Lucci. All right, I just asked a question, dude. And the question isn't even irrelevant. All right, dude. The question is watch, listen, and learn. Can hey, we do that? Hey, dude, there's a stamp behind me, bud. <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> Whoa, Kimo Sabe. Over here, bud. All right, all right, let me. Now, I see we got a nice gloss to it. Okay, and what we're doing, we're just blending it in once again. See, I'm gonna turn my, see there? I'm gonna go ahead and just blend. And right now, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get right here, see? Now, what the real trick is, is if you come in here with me. Come on. I'm gonna come and see, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our clear, we're gonna throw that away, bud. All right. And we're not going to clean the gun out. What we're going to do, okay, we're going to take some reducer. Okay, go ahead and use hot reducer on this. And what that hot reducer is going to do, it's going to blend that paint. It's going to melt all the paint into that piece. And hopefully tomorrow morning, it'll be done. You see what I'm doing here? This is hot reducer, okay? This is slow reducer. Look right here, slow dry. Okay, now I didn't mix it up or anything, okay? I left the clear that's in there, the clear residue's in there. I'm going to shake it up so it's nice and mixed up, okay? And then what we're going to do, okay, this is what you call blending now. See, now we're doing custom car blending, trying to get the colors back. Because we tried to touch it up, and what happened? Hello! Watch, listen, and learn, fucking guy. Okay. What happened when I tried to touch it up, watcher? You aren't watching, you yes, aren't listening. Yes, I was, dude. What? You still had a spot. That's right. So now I'm going to take this off very carefully. Do you see what I'm doing here? Yeah. I'm taking this off. I don't want to disrupt anything. Okay. First we want to get that off first, just like that. Then we're going to take our foam off, just like this. Okay. Do you see how I did that? 
Wow, that and then what we're going to do, watch, don't say wow. I don't like the word wow, okay? To me, wow means, gosh, gee, jolly, jeepers. And I said watch through the camera, Lucci, don't watch me. Okay, I'm looking. So then what we do, look at what I'm doing here. Come on over here, bud. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open my spray gun. And what I want to do is I want to get that clear that's in here. I want to get it down to where it's reducer, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and spray that out. And once I know that it's reducer, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spray that area with reducer. And what that's going to do, okay, what? There we go, bud. We'll let that dry. We'll come back and get our cash from the owner. And get the son of a bitch out of the shop. I'm up here now, Lucci. Hey, but that looks good. Dude. Okay. Hey, that thing, look, look at there. Man, that looks good, dude. So the real trick on touching your car up and doing it properly is what? Reducer. Is the reducer. Okay. Once you blend that paint in, in that little spot that you want, you peel it all off, mix your reducer with your clear residue, open your gun up, get some good pressure going out of it, and very quickly, I'm up here, bud. Quit looking over there. All right, all right. Very quickly, you know, spray that reducer on there so it melts it and shocks it all in. We don't even have to buff that, bud. That looks good. Am I right or wrong? You're right, dude. I'm the professional, sir. You are. Watch, listen, and learn, and you will learn and to be the professional too. All right, dude. Hey, how about guess, guess what else I did at the same time? I cleaned my gun out at the same time. Cleaned it out, bud. Is there anything else you need to know? Watch, listen, and learn. Lucky Lucci, the fucking guy that doesn't do that. Hey, smile once, dude. It, it'll help you, bud. Bad situation, Luch. Bad situation. Why, yeah? Thank you, sir. All right. Let's man. go look it over. All right, let's see. Hey, that's that's. Okay. Well, man, man, jammer, you did a really good job. You are the pro, bro. So if we look at it now, you can't even tell that it was painted. It looks like it came from the factory that way, and that only took us approximately 30 minutes to do that. Okay. It's all done, it's blended in, and we don't even have to wax it down or wash the car because it is it's finished, dude. Done. It's a done deal, ready to deliver tomorrow morning. He'll never even know it was fixed. Thank you for chipping that, Lucci, and I had to fix your, your fuck up one more time. Hey, dude, I didn't chip that. You chipped that. I did yes, not chip you did. that. I you did. chipped that, you Dustin. Money you on it? Let me see your keys. Let me see your keys, bud. No, take your keys out. No, that's let's the way it. my keys no, stay. No, let's see your keys. That's, that's the way. That's bullshit. That's... You walked past here and checked Lip. that when you were looking Lip. at the car. My keys don't even, they yeah, don't okay. even, they don't yeah, even. Yeah, that's right. Okay, you were walking past here looking at the car and you chipped it. <laughs> no. Get back to work, sir. Hey. I watched, listen, and learned when you fucked it up. And then you come over here, watch, listen, and learn when I'm fixing it. Hey, you want to blame me? And you're getting dude. paid to watch me, watch me fix your fuck up. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Get to work, sir. Man, dude. What are you fucking up over here, bud? <laughs> what are you messing up over here? Okay. What kind of key action do we got over here, dude? That's right. Keep sanding on that 34 Ford, bud. Let's get her done. Hey, you know what? It's got a lot of rough edges. Yeah, that's right. And that's why you're sanding it, to get rid of it. All right, all right. Thank you. See you later. Keep that keys in the pocket. You already screwed the Corvette up. <laughs> you're, you're wrong. Man. He's supposed to be sitting here watching, listening, and learning. But what he's doing is he's walking around messing cars up everywhere he turns around. And that's why we call him Lucky Lucci. Because one of these days, he will get it right. And he will be the guy that will be able to fix his own fuck ups. Till then, it's my friend Pete to the rescue. Take it easy, we'll see you later, and have a great day.
watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.